My name's Alone and welcome to another Zero Zero episode and I'm actually mining granite right now, 3 ticking with a teak log, it is extremely extremely boring but uh, I need to get to 70 mining in this video and 70 farming and hunter because that will be enough to be able to complete the Song of the Elves and actually be able to do a Salcano which is one of the bosses I still have to do on my list. So I will start off by getting all the requirements for the quest and then spend uh, a lot of the video probably completing that quest. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. Getting level uh, 69 farming here as well on this tree. So only one more level until I have my 70, which is really, really nice. I'm not a big fan of farming, but doing these tree runs is uh, not that bad, actually. I will definitely need breaks in this, so I'm going to take one now. I'm about to get 68 mining, if I can actually mine this. There you go. 68 mining, so I've done three mining levels today. Only two more to go until I'm done with mining. Also, I can fairly soon do a farming run and that is going to net me 70 farming. That is actually the first jar of swamp I have ever got and it's on 241. Of course, it's not really worth anything, but it is an item for the collection log. I think that's the break time from mining over. 20 kills on Solra. We got that jar, of course, and 2.6 mil added to the looting tab, which is now 18.3 mil. So let's go and get that 70 mining now. Excellent. There we go. Only one more to do and I will be 70 mining and I actually anticipated 70 mining to be such a pain in the ass but it was okay and now I am going to head over and do my farming run and get 70 farming as well. I'm gonna be honest I really anticipated 70 farming to be a way longer grind but if you have the money and you just buy tree seeds it is very easy. Now all I have to do is get 70 hunter which should also not take too long with red salamanders. I have to say Hunter was a lot faster than Mining was, but that is now 70 Hunter done and in the future I might go for 73 just because Black Chins is so good money. But for now I'm going to stop and now I have every single requirement if I go all the way down here to Song of the Elves if I can actually find it real quick here. S, where is it? S, Song of the Elves, there we go. So now I only have to do Morning's End Part 2, which I do actually have all the requirements for already, look at that. So uh, just two quests standing in uh, between me and Solcano now pretty much. Actually, I have no idea how anyone could ever do this quest without a guide. But uh, I have done it now and all I have to do is teleport to Letya and go talk to the guy in there. And I will be done with Morning's End Part 2. It took quite a while. I would say probably like 45 minutes to an hour to do this. I'm not completely sure, but uh, it is okay, I guess. But now I only have Song of the Elves left. Which I've heard is quite the quest. Two quest points also, and that puts me over 200, so I have another block now. And 20,000 agility is quite a lot, I don't think that's a level, but yeah. 20,000 experience, but most importantly, of course, I now have all the requirements for Song of the Elves. Right there, done. On the first fight of the quest, which is obviously extremely early into it, I am 14 minutes and 10, min 10 seconds into the quest. And uh, it is definitely a very, very long quest, and I don't think this is even uh, the end of part one. I've heard it takes like hours to do this quest, so we will have to see. Okay, part two of the quest done out of four or five, not really sure, but uh, yeah, 40 minutes in so far, so it's not too bad just yet. And uh, another one of these, at least there is no enemies that can interrupt me here all the time, so hopefully this won't be too bad. Uh, it's supposed to be seven puzzles and I'm starting this at 43 minutes pretty much, so let's see how long this takes. Oh, okay, so final seal is uh, right here and that is the puzzle done. It took quite some time, but maybe not as long as you might expect. It took me roughly, I just paused it now, 50 minutes to do the entire puzzle. Really happy I had a guide. If I didn't have a guide, I would probably be done next year. I've seen so many people do this boss on stream or in YouTube videos and it looked really hard but uh, yeah it's extremely easy. When he shoots the orange arrow all you have to do is move one step 
and uh, sometimes he shoots a purple arrow, if we can actually see that now in just a sec. That disables your prayer, and that's literally it. All you have to do is just hit the boss, move when he... P there you go, that's the purple arrow. Puts your uh, prayer off, and you just repeat until the boss is dead. And by the way, at the end of the boss, you will see here, when it goes to like 10% or something, you will actually die, but it's fake. You don't actually die. That's how the boss goes. I think it should be now. Yep, there you go. You actually just get straight up teleported into this boss fight after the previous one. So I actually died once, I didn't have any teleport out, so I had to use like a blood barrage or blood burst to even try to kill it, but yeah, I could not do that. But luckily I could collect my gear and that is the Seren boss done. And that also means the end of Song of the Elves quest. And it took me a very long time to do this. And I will check here, 2 hours and 25 minutes for this quest. It is truly a Grandmaster quest, but it feels good to have it done, and I'm pretty sure that's the longest quest in the entire game. So let's uh, go into the Elf City here and uh, get the experience as well. I'm not sure what skills you get experience in, but you're supposed to get a decent amount of experience at least. I mean, definitely not worth the 2.5 hours probably in experience-wise, efficiency and all that. But getting the Elf City is definitely worth it as always. And let's see the rewards here. 20,000 experience in agility, construction, farming, herb or hunter... Okay, well, that... Okay, that probably is worth it efficiency-wise, now that I think about it. And I got one woodcutting level. That's like 120,000 total experience or something for one quest. Maybe even more than that. But now we're here in Priftenas, finally. So there's two main reasons why I actually did this. Number one, Salcano, which is what I'm going to do right now. I bought a dragon pickaxe, some phoenix necklaces, and uh, this will be my setup. And also the second thing is corrupt gauntlets, but I won't do that right now. I am actually going to save that for quite a bit into the future, I think. But uh, yeah, let's try Salcano. So this boss is extremely easy. I mean, I would compare it to Winter Toad. It is slightly harder than Winter Toad, but it is not much harder than that. All you really have to do is mine the glowing rocks around the room. You can see that uh, one of them got destroyed now and the top left one is glowing. And you mine them and then you run to the furnace, put the things in. You get these uh, red orbs that I have in my inventory now. You run over to this thing, you runecraft them into the blue ones. And you just avoid the rocks really falling from the ceiling. You get all of them and then you throw them at the boss. And there will appear blue and red circles. Stand in the red circles and you take damage, don't do that. And if you want to stand in the blue ones, you deal a lot more damage. You can see now, I walk to a blue one, you throw the things at the boss, and it just gets uh, chunked down real quick. It, this is just the armor, and then you run to the boss when it's down, and you mine it. And after that, it dies. It, typically, if you're four or more people, you can do it in three rounds. And uh, it should take like two minutes maybe to get a kill. Let's see what the second loot is going to be. First one was Mithril Ore and of course some Crystal Shard. Second one, oh my god, 231k in one drop, that is insane. Third drop, after this I will take a break from showing you guys the loot. I just want to show you guys the first three Adamant Bars. These drops are just insane so far, like three kills, like 400k so far. Okay, so uh, this is kill number 10, and let's see what the total loot from this is, and the money is really good, I can already tell. 186k for that one drop. So let's see, 10 kills for Solcano is 1,020k, which is just pretty insane. I mean, also these um, crystal shards, for, for some reason one of them isn't counted. But they are actually uh, made to make the divine potions, and you actually make a lot of money from that as well, so... It's even more than 1 mil on just 10 kills. Okay, that is now 50 KZ done on Solcano, and the last drop is pure sand, so not very good. But uh, let's leave, and uh, I'm going to show you guys the loot. I've actually not got MVP many times at all. If you get the ashes, that means you've done the MVP. But uh, let me show you guys, and for some reason one of the kills was not tracked, 49, but uh, here we go, 50 kill count. 
And I only got four ashes. I think in that one kill that wasn't counted, I think I got ashes because it feels like I've got the ashes five times. But still, 4.7 mil with only getting MVP five times. Including the, um, of course, shards, which are probably, I would say this is probably like a mill or something. I'm not exactly sure, but still about 100k per kill and it's a very chill boss, so it's a very nice one. So because I didn't do a ton of bossing in this video, we can go through these slides super quickly. Uh, on the first one, I only added 20 kills to Soul Run, nothing else really. And on the second one, we now have 50 kills on Solcano from Zero, so that is another boss completed. On this tab, we actually only have raids and suck left, which is super cool. But with that, I'm actually going to end the video, and I'm really happy with the progress that I had made in this one with the elf quest done. Also, of course, Morning Sand Part 2, and we are now over 200 quest points, actually 205, so I can actually, next time I go to Slayer, block one more creature. I'm probably going to block fire giants because that's actually something I haven't blocked yet and I really never do that task. Always have to use my points to skip it. But in the next uh, video I kind of want to get into raiding and I'm not sure if I will do solo or duos. That will uh, depend on my friend if he's ready or not. We will see in the next one and I'm really hyped about it. Hopefully I can get some loot. Would be super cool to get some purple beams as I've never really got any before. I've only done one raid successfully with like no points at all, but that was in the Twisted League with no PVM relics. So, I mean, not the best way really to learn raids, I guess. On this account, it will be quite a lot easier, but I still have some skills that I have to get. For example, 78 herb lore, and I have to get some higher wood cutting, maybe, but I think that could be fine with 71. We will have to see. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, if you did, please leave a like, and um, if you want to see more of my content, you can click on any other video on the screen right now. Have a good one.